<coughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part five of the Dynasty Warriors Three Let's Play with Zahu Doom. And I'm kind of doing this on a bit of a hangover since um I went out last night and played some poker, which I won, won some money, specifically around forty-five to fifty quid. So not too bad. Let's see if that look carries on into the game as we approach the Battle of Heifei. The forces of Wu are quickly approaching. What are your orders? Kill them all. The moment, we have orders from our lord. Okay. He said to bloody their nose. Then pull back and wait for reinforcements. Oh, two sentences, one giant scroll. Cow cow, master of economics. The time for talk is over. Now we can move on to the planning. Yes, the plan to be even more environmentally unfriendly with giant scrolls with two sentences on them. <laughs> so proclaims Zhang Liao. Still, being hungover, good practice, because I'm going to be off to Ireland for the next four days, starting tomorrow, and not coming back till Monday evening, so I won't be uploading anything on here for at least four days. So, try not to miss me too much. Of course, you probably won't care. Anyway, let's see what After you can do. serving under Cao Cao. Guan Yu decides to leave for his former master, Lu Bei. Jia Ho Dun, fearful of Guan Yu's strength, siding with Lu Bei, sets off in pursuit, and with his victory, defeats the mighty Guan Yu. Upset we didn't kill him because apparently a long beard prevents execution. With their spirits high, Wei looks to quash resistance from a frightened Wu. Soon Quan leads a large army and attacks the Wei territory. Cao Cao attempts to send reinforcements to the front line at Huan Castle, but they arrive too late. Damn you, Wu! In the year 215, moving north, the Wu army arrives at Heifei. Hearing of Wu's attack, Cao Cao, following Zhang Liao's advice, agrees to send a unit to meet them. Will the counter-strike against Sun Quan prevail? Only time will tell. <coughs> Alright then, so it looks like we're going to be um, expecting help at some point. So this is kind of one of the first battles which happen later on where it just comes down to the superpowers squirming off against each other. Wei versus Wu and Shu. Sometimes you ally with one or the other to try and kick the other's butt. In this case it's just a straightforward Wei forces versus Wu. And let's see who's on each side. There's Cao Cao with two sub officers of note. There's Zhu Huang, who, as it turns out, was actually Chinese and wasn't to Middle Eastern. He just dresses up like one, a Persian Middle Eastern warrior for some reason, I guess. There's us. We have a sub-officer. There's a bunch of guys we don't care about. And there is Sun Quan, new leader of Wu. <coughs> the leaders of Wu kind of go down the family heritage of the Sun Quan. So there was Sun Jian, but then he gets disposed of, and then some Quan takes over. I think someone else takes the helm after him, I think. A couple more times, actually, but not mentioned in the game. Here's Wu Meng, a bit of an aggressive fellow with a spear. Lu Zun, who's kind of Wu's top strategist. He's like, um, well, I suppose Zhang Liao, the equivalent to Zhang Liao. Or Okay, no, Zang I guess Zhang Liao kind of is a strategist, but I think it goes to Simi Yi. So he's basically missed the brains of the operation. Can be awfully annoying as well. Probably will be this time too. There's Tai Su Chi, an interesting guy. That's a uh, code of honor apparently of some description. Pretty tough to beat as well. And Sheng Fu's is damaged. So let's see the conditions for the battle. <coughs> Sun Quan is defeated. Ah, a different defeat condition this time. Cao Cao is defeated, or Sun Quan enters the enemy headquarters. Oh dear. That's gonna be kind of awkward. Basically, we lose if Sun Quan gets anywhere near our HQ. I, we'll have to hope he doesn't move too much, but apart from that, it's a pretty simple battle. As simple as fighting and Wu is. So we have our great Skimitar. Items. Same items. We still didn't pick up any from the last mission either, so we're stuck with this. Now let's get him off bow. I'm not having any more bows. It improved useful. Going back to spears, I think. I want the range. So, 
Without further ado, let's uh, start. We may have to pop a save in the mid-fight because this could be quite tricky since we're not that well powered up, but we'll see how it goes. So let's rock. <coughs> and it's 90 minutes, so we don't have to worry about time pressure this time. Ooh, interesting choice, interesting track there. Front line, retake the middle. All right, retake the middle. That's the vital spot of the Wu army. Is it now? I would never have guessed. Ready to leave Tang Sheen, huh? Tang Weao is using strategy to try and get one of the officers, I guess. Let's get this guy off his horse. Ah oh, man, your horse has defended you well, Wing Tong. Not for much longer, however. They knock you in the air. I'm going to sneak around your... Oh, he blocked this time. Cunning bastard. <laughs> yeah, fool. You want to get knocked around a bit. Oh, this combo. Come on, finish him. Yes. Beautiful combo. That's a strategy you can do, actually. If you can sort of hit them just as they're about to fall down, you can do essentially an infinite combo. But it does take a bit of up to pull off. Crossbows! Ah, oh, crossbows. The upgrade and more annoying version of the archer, basically. In, well, I don't know if it's an attack upgrade, but they certainly possess more health. I will not let you through. Try if you dare. All right, I dare, Mr. Aggressive Man. Well, let me kill your archers first. We have crossbowmen. Same thing. Same pesky. We have a bunch. Oh my God. No bodyguards, don't die! I might need you. This is not looking good. My bodyguards are already nearly dead. No! Ah, I'm not gonna get stunned by a mere guard captain. Not the very one game, right? There, a minute again, the infinite combo. You essentially do that as long as they sort of you have to sort of jump and do it, but see if I can pull us off. Ah, if I killed him, I probably got a nice bonus. But <laughs> that's what that will suffice. Oh, Zhu Huang's force is in trouble. They joined against us. Maybe not the smartest idea to try and take him out with an arrow when he wasn't moving, but maybe a smart idea to take him on. Oh no, he's got an. Oh man, we're gonna be walking forever to do this. Oh no, we got an opening. No. No! Ouch! No! Way too many guys! Ow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, no, we're not gonna do that again. That'll be it. We don't have a time limit, so we need to be careful, a little more cautious this time. Maybe I'll take out some of the grunts. No, no! Get off me! Come on! Obviously, these missions get a little harder. It's mostly because your character's not as well powered up this time. So. They obviously give the anyone higher attacks and everything. You're supposed to be sort of powered up to suit in a way, but you can still do the missions. We're gonna try another combo on Ding Feng here. Seems to be going quite well. Let's uh, see if we can extend that combo even further. Super Muzu, finish him off! Down he goes. Got a weapon. Alright, hopefully it will be our tier 3 weapon. Would be nice. We'll see if we can get away with Super Muzu for a time. And deal with his guards as well. Looks like he's a uh, little against. Oh dear, he wants to knock us up into the air, does he? Flaming Sword! Finish him off! See how that goes. And then knock him up into the air. I have to be careful now because he may want to use his super. I may just use it as an advance to try and hopefully knock him with it. Hmm. Meng is running around a bit weirdly. Oh. oh. Come on, in the back! Yes! Get down, Wu Meng. Oh, he's dead. My lord, I must leave you now. Long live Wu. What was that? 
Honourable to the end, I suppose. But alas, Dong Zi's troop is pulling back. Yeah, that happens if you defeat the main officer. Basically, all the sub officers just, just get the fuck out of there. And we got a plus four attack off him. You can see now that we're getting more attack bonuses as time progresses. Good. So, we've done our well, sure. Now we need to sort of head down the middle and sort of. Well, take the middle, as is suggested. These guys want to be annoying, I see. Very anyway, well. The commanders are at least still alive, so they have some reason to stall us for what a time, but uh, not for much longer. And if I have my wish, start. Wow! As you can see, the air gets way more aggressive as you, the, the higher the missions get, and they're doing quite a bit of damage. But luckily, they're also dropping quite. up. Wong's really getting in trouble now. I don't know if we can do much. We'll have to just keep pushing forward and hope for the best, I think. But I think if we were to delay the battle and go and join him, we'd probably just end up this doesn't look good. losing our own. Losing more than if we just push forward normally. So we're just going to push forward with our guest. Um, partly because we're not that strong anyway. It's not like we can sort of charge into the middle and win. We're not super strong yet. You can do that later when you pretty much have every reason to. <coughs> so we're going to kind of go through the middle here. Luckily Sun Quan appears to be staying where he is, so we hopefully won't have to worry about him going to the headquarters. Although we may have to do some cute little flanking and maybe go and help the sort of middle area, which could be a key angle for Blue to take us back. Zuhong's still in trouble. He might not be though, he might be okay, he might not, we'll see. So we need to sort of bustle around these trees. Flank them from behind. Essentially. I'm doing so far, so as I'm going down here, just to let you know, yes, I am going to Ireland. I'm going to visit Dublin and Limerick. And my grandfather's hometown. Of course, it's going with my dad and one of his friends. Uh, it's kind of under the pretense of going to watch a Manchester City pre-season friendly, but... Get to visit Ireland as well, so always a nice bonus. Should be fun, and I'll be gone for four days, so... Made my post on the Dopefish forums about it, and I'm telling you here as well, so... I try to. I'm generally trying to get into a schedule of uploading a new video every two days. So I can upload a video one day, leave it a day to see any feedback. And thanks to all of those who do leave feedback, I know some of you have, like Millie's Beasts Let's Plays and Snicker Speed more recently. And as you can see, Archers! Yes, Wu has quite a lot of these guys. And this is not even the worst. Of it. <laughs> I remember if you play on the other side, well, I'm sure we will see that, because it's quite a popular Wu mission, I think, so we'll probably see this quite a bit. <laughs> Cow Cow has also its fair share of crossbows as well, so we might even see a lot in the main camp, because what starts to happen later on is that the main camps just stockpile archers like crazy sometimes and you have to deal and literally you'll be fighting this CO and you'll be kicking his ass but because he has like 20 crossbowmen all firing at you you'll be close to dying so always always eliminate crossbowmen as soon as you can because they will be way more annoying and wait till they get really oh dear oh shit that's not good oh dear oh dear that is not good. We're gonna have to. Cal Zang has been eliminated and they've got a passage straight to base. We may have to. Hmm. We're gonna have to go and uh, weed these guys for a minute and. Take these pots. Help. Excellent. No! 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 I'm not interested in you. Go away. Go, 
bugger off or something. No, no, I said you either. Not yet, anyway. Shit. That's not good news. That we just pretty much just counts about our victory. I'm gonna knock you out, really, but I kind of just want to run past all you guys because I don't know if it counts if even one of Sun Quan's officers makes it to base or just Sun Quan himself but in any event I think we need to sort of help the back lines because we could be in a bit of trouble this here and with Cal no 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 oh god this is getting worse and you'll start to notice another theme in these missions as well is that a lot of your officers will die unless you do really extensively well So, expect a lot of situations where it takes a while before your plans actually come off because you're just being zerged a lot. So, here we're going to have to be very careful. We're not doing that much damage, but we don't want to get one errant combo. So, we have to play on the side of caution. No, I'm not dying. I'm going to block. You want to focus on me? Fine, I'm gonna focus you too with my super mizu. Hmm, one of these pops are gonna recovery. A little bit. It's good. And you can see it's mostly his guards are just being annoying as hell. So let's try and get rid of them. Maybe get some breathing space on these guys. Last. Wow, there seems to be a lot of off guys over there. And yes, enemies can defeat and will get updated if you. We'll get updated if they defeat 50 and... Oh, oh dear. Going from bad to worse. But luckily that was only a sub-officer. We may have to pull this off. Scar keep... Oh, never mind. It was not the main officer. After all. Ah, oh, some good news. So we're probably going to have to defend this part of the base for the longest time now. There we go. Nice movie counter. So you can see there's just loads of them. And this is a common thing, you'll mostly, you'll more than likely always be up against the back wall. So you'll really just be basically against it every time, but then because you're the hero of the story, you will persevere and destroy the enemy. Because you're awesome. I'm going to try, oh, nippy with an officer again. Get out of the way. I anticipated a kind of strike there. No, not again. So you have to put with quite a lot of these guys attacking you in the back. I'm just going to start slashing a wild wee bit here. I just want to clear these guys out. That made my super muzu. Right. And we just have we hit a hundred. Try and clear these guys out. Handang's forces are defeated. Good. <laughs> Don't like by. Man seems to be putting up a decent defense here. I'm gonna pick up more life. Finally! I think we've cleared out the majority of the Zerg wave. Is he actually retreating? Is this where hmm. I, I guess he die. is. We'll go after him, but I'm more than I'm more than happy to have the uh, just have him out of the way for now. And we can always kill this guy to make up for it. It's the same guy, isn't it? Maybe it's the same guy, maybe I'm... So now we just take care of Zhu Huan. Oh no, but this is this is gonna be base defense basically from now on. Unfortunately. I've got you now, Tai Chi C. Oh my. Wait! Ah, he's hurt. There's no need to pursue. <laughs> He's hurt. Approximately <laughs> one arrow hit him. <laughs> oh dear. Nice work. Zangriel's plan at least paid off. Tyson Chi has been eliminated. Good. Thank thankfully something went right in this mission so far. Nothing else is. Ah, damn it. Ah! Crap. It's only going to be longer than 20 minutes. Uh, no! Stop it! Get down! Yeah, one down. 
Come on. No, 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 no. Come back here. Oh, fine. Run off then. Coward! Or is he just temporarily regrouping? There we go. Breathing space. At last. Zutai's force has been destroyed. Oh, good. Things are looking up again. There he is. Oh, swing! Uh oh. Who's this guy? Attack! Oh my! He's leading an army from the bridge. Whoa! Wow! What the hell was with that damage? They call me Ganning of the Bells. Let's play. Ganning of the Bells. Oh no! Not this. Oh boy. Things just got. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Sun Quan's making some kind of a plan here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I suddenly remembered Gan Ning's involvement. And at this point, I'm popping a save. <laughs> I am not risking this one. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 